Hey there folks, welcome back to Is That Right Gaming. My name is Rob. Today we're doing a What's in the Box episode. We are looking at Destinies from Lucky Duck Games. I do know this is a one to three player game and it's a story driven uh, campaign sort of game. I'm really curious to get this one to the table and find out what it's all about. I've heard a lot of good things um, and it features a sort of scan and play system. So. Let's go ahead and head down to the table and we'll see what's in the box. Hey there folks, here we are back at the table. We're gonna see what's in the box, Destinies. So, um, we have Lucky Duck Games. Um, I'm gonna guess Michael Golbiowski and Philip Melunski, but I could be wrong on those uh, pronunciations. This is a competitive story driven game not entirely sure what all that means i'm sure we'll find out um, when we actually play it uh, there appears to be a game master companion app as well as scan and play technology within it so you'll have to download that from the apple play store or the apple app store the google play store or steam um, at least you have lots of options there one to three players 14 and up and 120 to 150 minutes. The prophets speak of the angels of death and his descent upon the earth to bring forth the end of days. The chosen few will be given the power to shape these ordeals and bring on to others both punishment and salvation. Their deeds will be a testament to the will and strength of the mortal. Destinies is a competitive, story-driven game of adventure and exploration, mixing an app and a board game. The Destinies system offers a fully story-driven, app-supported, RPG-like board game experience without the need for a game master. Each scenario pictures a part of a vivid world full of dark stories, epic characters, and mysteries to solve. Each player takes the role of a hero on a quest to fulfill their destiny. So it looks like we got 67 map tiles, 3 player boards, 15 destiny cards, 150 item cards, 30 character miniatures, 1 oversized boss to <laughs> miniature, 15 custom dice, 36 skill marker tokens, 20 trade tokens, 20 coin tokens, 20 experience tokens, 26 point of interest markers, and the rule book. So let's open it up and see what's in the box. Always cutting away. So get this plastic wrap out of our way. And there you can get another good look at the cover of Destinies. So here is our rule book right on top. So Looks like we got some information on the system itself, an introduction, the components we just talked about. Again, you have to download that app, campaign and replayability. Here's all your setup instructions. Um, here is an objective, how the flow of the game works. So you have a start of turn, then you have movement, then visiting a point of interest. And looks like you have to interact, different tests that can come about, the dice in the game. You got main dice and then effort dice. Scanning the item cards, scanning destiny cards, trading, final interaction. And then it goes into some deeper game concepts here. Events, virtue, finales on the game end, and the solo mode. And we've got some glossaries of terms here. That's nice. Got to make sure you understand it. Reference icons, including uh, scan information, so you know when you have to scan things. So, let's get this plastic top off here. And 
looks like we got some player boards here. Destinies. All right. And they're double thick so you can set things in them. That's always nice. Here we have some punch boards. Very clean punch, it looks like. And some different symbols. Scales there. Very nice. Good thickness on these boards. Some more tokens here. We've got a crown symbol. And some more symbols. A horseshoe there. Nice and thick. So, looks like we got another plastic protector there. And, good, we got a little thing here so that we can easily open up our bags of cards. I don't know if I want to get too deep into these. Um, there could be spoilers in here, I suppose, but you can see we got this lion symbol on the back of these cards and something that you scan within the app. A lot of herbs, alcohol, swords, torch, traps, poison, spade, doctor mask can never have enough dice, right? <laughs> so that's that deck. It looks like we might have some characters in this deck. I would assume this is probably people that you run into in the game. Um, but let's see. So we got some more items here. If you can call a horse an item. Trophy, hatchet, talisman, food, rosary, holy water, lockpick. Oh, and another herb. So, let's see what else we got here. So, these appear to be characters. Again, I don't want to get too deep into them. Because I don't know how spoilery any of this could be. Oh, the coward. So, some characters there. Go ahead and open this deck of cards. I think it might be the last deck of cards. Again, we have lion symbol on the back. Parchment, crossbow, horned mask, sheep, copper sickle, tarot cards, ladder, sacred banner, net, blessed soul, cursed soul, I do see, I don't know if you can see it on camera, but there are numbers. So these presumably go in order in that stack, and then the game will reference the number uh, to tell you what happens at a given moment. And then interact with it, of course. Um, so here we have what appear to be location tiles. I would use, I think I'm using tiles generously. This is just a card stock. Again, these are in an order here. Um, looks like it gives you an idea of what it is on the back. And you flip it over once you explore it. So I don't wanna get too deep into these cause I don't know what any of them mean. And I don't want to inadvertently spoil for somebody who wants to experience the game themselves. Looks like we've got some little tokens here. Some wood pieces. Throw away this silica. back in the baggie and then we can see those dice we talked about before you have your main dice and effort dice so it looks like the main dice are 
a decent size bigger than the effort dice. Take a quick look at the main dice here. One, two, three. There's another one there. So four appears to be the highest number on this die. Interesting, I wonder how that affects play. And then the smaller effort die, the different dice we have here. Um, interesting symbol there. But the highest number on this die is a three. It looks like again we have two ones, a two, and a three. And then whatever this symbol ultimately means uh, within the destiny system. Now, there's some really interesting figures in here, but most of them are pretty small. So I don't know how much detail I'm going to be able to show you on these. Let me get like a larger one here. It's like a an angel-like character. There is a lot of detail on this miniature. But uh, Simon Come On Games is known for having very detailed miniatures. This is interesting. Got like scorpion tails. Do got to be careful. There is some give to these. These wings look like they've seen better days. But yeah. So there are a lot of smaller tokens in here. Um, I don't necessarily want to go through each of them uh, because they are kind of small and I don't know how much that will translate on camera. But I'm excited to get this to the table and give it a try. Um, if you liked what you saw, feel free to uh, uh, like, comment, subscribe if you really enjoyed it. Uh, let me know what you think of Destinies. Um, you've been watching What's in the Box with Is That Right Gaming. Have a great rest of your day.